And time to dust off that number eight Y mentality we are famous for in New Zealand because New Zealand is calling for its best and brightest idea generators. You can enter the New Zealand Innovators Awards right now or nominate a friend if you think they have a chance of winning. You can actually nominate a friend for, for no reason at all, but you'd be wasting people's time. Andy Blackburn is the director of the New Zealand Innovation Council. He's here to tell us what makes a winning entry. Andy, good morning. Good morning. Good morning um, this is brilliant because, this, because you innovate or you wither. Don't but you? As an economy, as a country, and just people every day in New Zealand business, absolutely. You've got to keep, create your future, don't you? It's a traditional thing to say, I mean, that whole number eight wire thing. But as a little country in the middle of nowhere, we started off needing to innovate, which is why we did. And we have more or less kept that up, haven't we? I, I agree. I think we're getting more sophisticated than number eight wire now because it's about collaborating, working together, helping each other and just being really smart about international markets. A lot of people will look at this uh, at the periphery and think, oh, you must be talking about inventions. And indeed, inventions is yeah. part of it. But inventions, that's not innovation necessarily. No. It's a whole spectrum, isn't it? Uh, ab absolutely. Uh, innovation is about implementing and it's about solving problems and the bigger the problem, the better. Inventions are a massively important part of that. We, we, we are open for research and inventions and, and social innovation and, and business. Uh, okay, give us, some, give us some examples of previous winners or, or well, you know, highly regarded entries. Well, being a, being a Hamilton boy, I'll start with a Hamilton, originally, I'll start with a Hamilton idea. And in the dairy sheds... I know sheds, you who you're going to say. Oh, no, it's someone else. It's someone else. <laughs> it's, no, I did mention it to you, Apiology Skin Care. Absolutely. They, they noticed that uh, farmers' hands and cows' udders are looking good and there's an active ingredient in there that is just wonderful for teenage acne and it's now a global product and uh, early, they were a finalist last year in marketing and communications, innovation and um, they had to learn a whole new set of international markets. See, that's fantastic, isn't it? Because, I mean, you've never seen a dairy farmer with scoured hands or with acne. So you just put two and two together. <laughs> so they're proof. Yeah, that's yeah proof. absolute proof. Give me a couple more. <laughs> Christchurch, uh, Enstech, they do uh, surgical equipment to make people recover better after knee surgery. Right. They won uh, Innovation and Export Excellence last year, an incredible Christchurch company. Uh, maybe Dunedin. Uh, Dunedin, wonderful winner uh, two years ago, actually. Yeah. Uh, that, that is uh, Pacific Edge, a cancer diagnostic and management system that runs on genome sequencing. It's a urine sample rather than surgery. Right, right. So, you, uh, so these are huge yeah. things that transform they are, they people's be. lives, they which is one of, the, one of the judgment calls, of course, when you're determining whether something wins or not. Yes. So they could be little inventions, big inventions. They yep. could be companies yep. which are just doing something in a very innovative way. It can be, yeah. It can be the new product, the new service. Could, it can be social innovation. For example, Francis Valentin and the Vine, uh, Mind Lab one from Auckland, one um, social innovation. We had Rocket Man the other day and he was a winner pre Previously. Most inspiring individual. It, fantastic. Um, have you seen one thing come over your desk so far this this year that you thought, yeah, <laughs> if we don't get a better one, that's a good winner? Uh, I, I always, always, always. I, I, too, I'll quickly shout out the names. Orange Door, Up North, Whangarei and Los Angeles. Thank you very much. Wow. Doing uh, music streaming for pubs and bars around the US, going off gangbusters. And a big shout for Karma Cola. Drink no evil. They've actually gone back. Drink no evil. Drink no evil. <laughs> They've gone back to Sierra Leone. They've found the original, I'm not sure what it is, but the original ingredient of yeah. cola, and they're doing a fair trade thing around it with a hot brand. Oh, yeah. God. Cool. That's a very good idea, and it's good for the planet. You know, good, good environmentally for sound, I expect. Good, and good for, for business. Hey, Absolutely. Because that's innovation. Um, brilliant, Andy. Thank you very much. Uh, Andy Blackburn, New Zealand Innovation Council.